Hi and welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. Today we'll be learning how to create attractive speedometer UI in LabVIEW. First of all, we'll go into the LabVIEW and take a reference of the speedometer. For example, in this case, I want my speedometer to look like this. So I'll go to the control palette and then select the gauge uh, meter that actually looks more like the one what we wanted it to be. So if we want to modify it, we have to convert in, into the uh, type dev, the type dev controls. Uh, if you do not know about the type dev controls, uh, please visit our another videos in this channel. So I'm going to convert it into the strict type dev instead. By converting into the strict type dev, I'll be able to maintain the appearance whenever I'll be making changes uh, while opening with the control type dev uh, front panel. So uh, here I'm editing inside the uh, controls front panel. Uh, so the first thing what I did was I changed uh, the limit. I changed the uh, maximum value to 140. I'm now changing the uh, font size to match uh, the reference image over there. I took that image from the uh, Google. So after that uh, here, like uh, I've changed, it, changed the uh, color of the text. Uh, to resemble the one into the left. It's completely up to you when you are building your uh, front panel for the speedometer. You can select the color you want. So here I'm, uh, you know, uh, changing the color of one of the dial. Uh, as you can see, the color combination on the left is white and sky is blue or the can, you can say. So the next thing uh, I'm going to hide the uh, you know the circumference border. I made it invisible by selecting the T or the transparent uh, control in the color palette. Next thing I change the background into the black. Now if you uh, realize uh, there are like a certain things I need to keep in mind. Uh, I'm just like a checking different uh, options here to see. Okay, this doesn't work, so I undo that one. Uh, the next uh, thing what we're going to do is the center of the needle, actually. Uh, so to modify that, I'm going to right-click, select that to the pane. As you can see, different elements of the UI are visible here. And I'm going to import the image. Uh, here I already have some of the image already for, uh, downloaded from the... Uh, internet and you might have to edit it using the different uh, you know image editing tools i use the photoshop for this purpose so like uh, i'm here like i'm just trying to manage the aspect ratio of the uh, image so that will be the center of our speedometer as you can see it's now looks far more similar to the image on the left so i'll just like keep that into the middle once that is done, I'm going to, uh, you know, modify a little bit. Just try to keep it in the center to make sure it looks good. Okay. So the next thing, uh, what we're going to do it is, I'm going to write the unit uh, for this meter. So you can write anything. Uh, you can use the miles per hour or kilometer per hour. In this case, we're using the kilometer per hour. I'm going to change the text size as well as the color so once you have it done it like I've moved it over there into the center I'll move it a little bit under the top And the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the another image. This is basically the logo of my company. So this is going to be the GraphTex logo. So once it has been copied, it's in the memory. You just need to do paste, control V. And as you can see, I got my white uh, type of logo. This is a different shade of my logo. It's in black and white. Here I'm using the white because the background is black. So you can, uh, you know, uh, 
change, uh, try to maintain the aspect ratio so that it will look far more uh, finer while implementing in this diagram. So once that is done, like uh, next thing is like uh, when I move uh, my needle, as you can see, the uh, needle actually looks like it's going under the text. It doesn't actually look good. So what I'm trying to do it is like I'll uh, just like uh, you know arrange uh, the order of uh, these like elements over there. Uh, the needle actually has to be on the top. So what I'm going to do it is like I'm going to select the needle instead. Make sure that like uh, it's overlapping with that one in the beginning before I arrange it. And as you can uh, see now, it will come up. Just a moment, it's still not coming there. Yeah, now it more looks like a 3D uh, in nature. So once uh, that is done, uh, we'll now move into the final one that is going to be the, as you can see now, it actually goes over that one. Okay. So the final thing is uh, the digital indicator. As you can see, there's a digital indicator in the uh, middle, just under the needle in the reference image. Yeah, so I just like uh, use the, uh, just made the background transparent so that it is visible. And the next thing what we're going to do it is like I'm going to borrow this image as well. This is also uh, edited in the uh, Photoshop. You can use any editing tool uh, that you have or like uh, you have access to. So I'll just like leave it over there in a space. So this will be my digital indicator. Yeah, as you can see, like it's actually going under that one. So like uh, we have to make sure that, uh, you know, it actually goes over that one. So let's make sure. Yeah, now it's fine. And I'm going to, uh, you know, justify the text and everything over there. So, like, I'm going to move it there. As you can see, like, it's hidden. So, the next thing what we can do it is, uh, we're just, like, trying to make sure that, like, it is actually coming under off of that one and everything. So, you need to add in this. You have to do this repeatedly until uh, you get your desired result. So, as you can see now, the text is actually over the... Uh, bluish background or the can Xi'an background so uh, next thing what we're going to do is like a funds and justify it into the center I think we have done a, like a pretty uh, good job so far now the next step, uh, next phase of the uh, UI is to uh, build the uh, user interface. Not the user, build the user interface, but like a build a code that is going to actually test these mm -hmm. images. So I'm going to save this VI. Save this control, the speedometer demo. So I'll save it. Uh, since it was converted into the strict type depth, the user interface has been updated automatically. Uh, if you're using the type def, uh, it would not be reflected. So you have to go back and then get a copy from your control again. So I'll just like put a delay here uh, to update my UI every 100 milliseconds. Uh, next thing, I'll just like add a control. This is just for like a simulation. Uh, it does not necessarily, you can use it any control, but slider is the easiest way to test in this kind of scenario. So I'll be connecting the slider into that one and then connect it over there. And then I'm gonna run this VR. So I'll do it, as you can see, like uh, the uh, digital part, the graphical part is working fine, but the digital part is not visible. So what we do now is open the type def of the control and then make the digital indicator uh, visible. So I'm going to close that VI. As you can see now, the and numeric indicator is also visible and as you can see like I can just make this run and you can just like improve the UI as you like so I hope uh, you guys like this video uh, please like share and comment on this video and do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future lab view videos thank you very much for watching